Well, the start of the race at Silverstone in bright spring sunshine in the centre of the UK. Busy grid. Patrick Dempsey waving the green flag, not racing, but still having his team here. Tornado flyover before we released the weapons that are the championship running cars for 2016. Down towards the first corner, the front row locked out by Audi, with Mark Webber chasing in third position for Porsche. And amazingly, 33 cars went into the corner, and 33 cars came out. Early battles for the front of the field. Audi's clearing off to start with, but then Mark Webber found his stride. First up to second and then up to the lead in two very similar passes, using traffic expertly. The Aussie took the lead for Porsche. Roman Dumas was having a little more trouble trying to get him into third place. Two Michelins on the grass, but all-wheel drive keeping him pointing in the right direction. Big spin for Chris Cumming as he tried to avoid the back of one of the Ferraris. And then Michael Christensen suffering a suspension failure on the Proton Porsche number 77. All kinds of carnage down at Vale today. Manor WEC in their first race, coming a cropper. But the battles in LMP2 have been extraordinary. And the top three still separated by only 20 seconds. And then the big incident, Brendan Hartley having taken over the number one Porsche from Mark Webber, misjudging the line of Mike Wainwright in the Gulf racing car, just pinching the corner a little bit, contact, almost a full rollover. Both cars damaged safety technology ensuring that both drivers could walk away unaided. Concern in the pit, but both drivers able to leave the scene of the accident. Then almost immediately under the full course yellow, more driver this time for Audi, his number eight car. Luca de Grassi at the wheel, ground to a halt and had to have assistance from their technician to discharge the battery pack. So it was Audi in second place, but then Audi in the lead. As a misjudgment by Mark Lee, lapping a slower car, allowed the number seven Audi of Ben Trellier through. The GT battles as ever, keeping a big crowd in the sunshine at Silverstone, very entertained indeed, with Davide Rigon leading the pro class for Ferrari.